as somebody at risk for Huntington's, not even that I had it or didn't have it, but just having a risk for Huntington's, I was uninsurable, literally. Uninsurable as a category didn't exist. Uh, and you couldn't get health, and you couldn't get life, and you couldn't get anything. Disability, zip. But particularly health, because you needed that. I think Jim Watson was just very um, courageous because when we started the Human Genome Project, everybody said, oh, it's you know big science, just like building a bomb, and nobody's going to go for it. So uh, Jim said, we have to actually, if we're going to do that, put money into the Human Genome Project, we have to actually have equal amount of money for the, looking at the ethics and social issues. And when he asked me to chair it, I said, well, I exactly know about law, but if it could be ethical, social issues, working group, I'd love it. We had a task force on Americans with Disabilities Act. And even then, you know, they said, because uh, the way the original language was constructed, it said, you can discriminate almost, you know, against everybody. So we said, no, really, you have to make it people at risk for genetic disease or have a genetic disease, they should be protected. So we had gigantic fight, gigantic, really huge, huge, huge uh, fight. We finally got the language changed. So it said, you know, yes, you know, people at risk for all these different genetic diseases are equally protected.